Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel. Um, a little bit of a different setup today. Um, I'm going to show you my process of using AliExpress um, with regards to what I look for, um, how I select what uh, shop to buy from, um, how not always value for money is the way to go. Um, and so what I do is I'm going to go on now because there's products I want for this channel and for my set. Uh, my collection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on, I'm going to find that uh, through the search engine and I'm going to show you what I look for when buying one of these products. So hopefully it will help you guys identify the 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 positives and the negatives um, when regards to ordering. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to switch over to the capture on uh, the website. Um, and we'll talk you through bit by bit what I actually look for. Right, okay, so here we are on the website of AliExpress. Um, as you can see, a lot of Lego and watches showing up in my feed because that is pretty much what I uh, search for. So this time what we're going to look for is Lego Wally because that's the set I'm looking for. Okay, so loads have come up. Uh, as you can see, varying prices. So you've got some at 35 quid, some at 16, some at 14, 32, 14, 15. So 15 quid. So so the difference in price with these ones is these ones are the ones you can remote control. So these are called Gilux. They'll call it Gilux. Um, so as you can see, this comes with a Bluetooth controller, an app control. Uh, sorry, a blue a radio controller, a Bluetooth module so you can control it from your phone, the motors, the battery packs and cables. They add you an extra 100 pieces in for the rubber on his treads, I presume, to make it more grippy. Um, and then obviously an extra rows as well. They just try and pack out the pieces. So look, you've got that's 687 pieces. Um, well, I'm not really sure what the... Yeah. How can that be the same? They're not. I think that I think they've got that wrong because when you click into these, you get the different options. So you've got 15 quid. So that one, and then you've got upgrade version, which will give you a little Wally, um, which is pointless, and a rose, which again is not in the film. So then you've got the next version, which is the radio controlled version with the rubber studs. Again, that's another version. So that's one without the rose. And then you can just buy the kit on its own if you've already got a Wally, that is. So this doesn't look like a bad seller, to be honest. Um, free shipping, which is always what I search for. Uh, 4.7 stars out of 5 on 100 reviews. And they've had over 600 orders on this. So the one I'm looking for is the standard version. I'm not really interested in the radio control. So as you go scrolling through, they show you amazing pictures. This isn't necessarily representative of what the actual product you're going to get because they may have nicked these from like the Lego, Lego website. So that one looks like a, not a bad image. It looks like quite a nice little set, really. Um, I can't imagine that it's not massive. So 20 by 13 by 33. Yeah, all the normal gumph. So this is what I look for, right? So I go through and look for reviews with pictures. So the last review here, uh, the assembly was just fantastic. Clamping force on the stones is great. Wally is just plain cute. Yep, he looks pretty cute if you ask me. So again, that's a satisfied um, customer and that's the actual set we're looking. Uh, so delivered relatively quickly, parts working normally, made a mixture of existing things, made light up in my eyes. So this is, the, this is someone who's actually powered their one up. So again, look at all these, this is what I don't like, all the wires and stuff. So that's why I don't ever kind of put light kits or anything in mine. Uh, so another one here, another picture, awesome. So again, same thing. So this one, oh, that's how you get it. Let's zoom in for you. So it turns up in bags. They don't look numbered, um, but you do get a nice little manual. The thing is with this is it's such a small set. You don't really need to have it numbered. Um, you have to ignore some of the text because it kind of translates from people. Okay, started December, got to 28, not enough details. 
So they okay, they had an issue. Okay, so they were missing two of those. Um, if you look here, the sellers responded pretty much instantly. Hello, dear friend, two of your items are matched and ready to ship. Thanks for your feedback and support. Let's do better. Again, you can't really moan at that at all, can you, really? No missing parts, I recommend. So a lot of these ones, to be fair, are positive reviews. I say that's actually a really good seller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that to my cart for the moment because that might be one that I go for. Did I add that to my cart? I didn't add that to my cart, did I? Oh, it did. But it just hasn't shown up here. Okay, so if we go back to the other one. So let's find one that I wouldn't buy from. So like ones like this, sold five, but there's no reviews to say actually anyone's received it. So like here, you've got 99 sold, 4.8 stars, which again, that's a really good seller, that one. 1,000 sold, 4.9. So if we scroll down, there aren't many more. Um, and don't kind of get um, pulled into, like this one here, pound eighty. But if you look, that is not the same figure as what we're getting, well, as what we're looking for. That's a tiny little figure. Often you see people buy stuff from AliExpress and they don't read the, the fine print a bit. They don't read it enough to kind of see what they're getting. They expect one thing, like there's a few versions of the Lamborghini Sian. And there's, there's the main version, and there's a lot of smaller ones as well. So recommend making sure the pictures match what you expect. Okay, so now another way of looking for it, rather than typing Lego, type blocks. Because obviously Lego is a brand name. So if you start scrolling through, so again, I think it's pretty much the same. Because this is a discontinued one, um, there's limited sellers, so then change the blocks to bricks, same thing again. So like a few more have shown up here. So like that one, I would not, I would not get, because they've not sold any and there's no reviews. Again, look, again, look, they're going to make the pictures look amazing. That's how it, that's, that's how the other one turned up. Again, not a massive set but I would not be getting that one because it's not sold any, it hasn't had any reviews. I, I'm sure it will turn up fine, but I'd say for the ease, I would always go with ones that say 600 sold or 1,000 sold or as many sold as you can, even if it isn't necessarily the most value for money, it just puts you at, my, it puts you at ease. Like this one here, I've sold over 2,000. So if we go into that one, do they do a normal version? So that's 17 pounds, right? So it's two pounds more than the one we found earlier. Let's open that up in a new one. Um, but 4.6, over 2,000 orders. So again, if we start scrolling through, all the different sets. So these are them little rubber things you put on when it, you automate it, and this is the app. Again, I don't think I'd really be installing a random app from China on my phone at the moment. So this one, the delivery took almost a month. Uh, details are in place, quality is excellent, close to the original. So again, it's not a nice little set. I'm going to have this kind of um, stored in my bathroom with Groot. So here, someone's making them look like Santa. See this one here, the wall is class. And again, this is into this translation. But when driving, due to the heavy head, loses balance and overturns. Okay, so this one. Oh, when driving. So they must be playing with this. That's the actual thing. But again, so I'm not going to be playing with it. So it's just going to live in my bathroom. So again, looks like here they're missing a piece. Uh, able to find a right. Okay, so he's got he does the kind of thing I do. He doesn't wait for a piece to come. He'll just modify pieces around it to make it work. That's the kind of thing I do. So again, that's another nice seller. So what I'm going to do is now, I'm actually going to buy this one here. Uh, 15 quid so if we go through to checkout right so here we are in the um, the checkout so as you can see like 15 quid but shipping's free but then you do have to pay a bit of tax on top so it's 13 quid so it turns out to be just under 19 quid for the set so that's quite a set I'm looking forward to getting so I'm going to go ahead and pay for that now 
Um, and then what we're going to do is switch back to the other camera. Okay, so as you can see, it's quite effortless. You just need to kind of be aware of what you're getting, uh, or what you're looking for, sorry. So make sure the pictures match what you want, uh, description. Uh, there are different versions of different sets. So like I said, like the Lamborghini and the Bugatti have smaller sets, so it makes it look like you get massive value for money, but when it turns up, it isn't what you're expecting. So always look out for how many they have sold and reviews. And ideally, if them reviews have got pictures, um, that's going to help you massively with regards to get what you get. And that's whether it's Lego, fake football shirts, watches, coming soon, um, anything like that. It kind of the pictures from the reviews help you massively. Uh, don't be put off by the odd bad review. Not everyone's going to be happy. Um, I would just keep scrolling through, make sure you know what you're looking for beforehand um, and what you're getting is what's kind of written and then kind of go from there. So what I'm going to do is now, I'm going to end this video, I'm going to wait a few weeks for it to turn up uh, and then we're going to do a review of that product in part two. So yeah, so any questions, anything like that guys, put it down below. Um, we're trying to put more and more videos out at the moment. So the more interaction with us kind of gives us a bit more incentive to kind of push more. Um, we do have another channel, hashtag budget meals, um, going on at the moment because times are tough and we're trying to save a bit of money everywhere. Um, so yeah, so that's mainly around air frying and uh, slow cooking, stuff like that. Um, but that channel's kind of taken off quite well. We're just under 500 subs now in a couple of months. Um, so we have been concentrating on that a bit. So we've had a day of main channel recording today, which is this is. So this is my fifth video of the day. I'm starting to get a headache and I'm shattered. Um, but thank you very much for watching, guys. And we will be back soon with the follow-up part of this one when Morley decides to get delivered. Cheers.